Hello guys, this is John AE5X, and I've just returned from a POTA activation of a nearby park with this radio, the FX4CR, which I received in the mail two days ago. Um, I was going to show you the video of the activation, but what I want to show you instead is one of the problems I ran into, and it's uh, so significant that if it doesn't get resolved or can't be resolved, um, I would urge you, if you have a pending order for the FX4CR or FX4L, to consider canceling that order until the issue does get resolved. Um, it's kind of a biggie. Uh, let me show you. I'm on CW right now. I wanted to come home and make this test because I thought maybe RF is getting into the radio. I was 15 feet from the antenna, transmitting with uh, 20 watts. Actually, close to 24 on some bands. This radio puts out 20 to 24 watts on 10 through 80 and 10 watts on 6 meters. Those are measured, not claimed values. 20 to 24 watts, which I really liked when I first measured this on the radio the day I received it. I thought, all right, this is pretty awesome. This small of a form factor, 10 bands and 24 watts out on CW. But... Uh, there are other good things about it as well, the chunky construction and everything, but the flaw that I'm about to show you renders all of that as irrelevant, in my opinion. All right, I'm on 20 meters, CW. Turn the volume up a little bit. I vary the power by going here, and I can turn it up to 20 watts. I'm actually going to be putting out 22 to 24, I think, on, uh, on 20 meters. But let me turn it down. To where it was at two watts and it is putting out two watts and it indicates that here my SWR on transmit going into a dummy load is also indicated correctly but let's say I'm on the air I've got an antenna hooked up and the station has just answered my CQ he's a little bit off frequency so his pitch isn't exactly the way I like to hear it so I go to RIT and to show me that RID is active, a red rectangle is drawn around it. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. So there's the red on. If I turn it off, the red outline goes away. So let's turn it on and pretend that I had to turn it down a little bit to get the pitch the way I want to hear it for the station that I'm working. So he's transmitting now. I'm copying him correctly and uh, at the right pitch that I want to hear him. Then he signs over to me. As soon as I transmit, I'm going to hit the key now, the RIT goes away. It turns off and it goes back to zero. This happens on every band that I try to operate CW on, um, or did operate CW on. I made a page of contacts on 10 through 20 meters, all CW, but I had no RIT functionality. Anyway, turning on the RIT, dialing in a value, and then all that goes away with a simple hit of the paddles. No more RIT. So basically you don't have RIT if it only works during your receive, which defeats the purpose of it. Uh, like I said, if you have an order pending for this or the FX4L, which is the QRP version of this radio, um, <laughs> I would strongly suggest canceling that order until this gets resolved, unless RIT functionality is uh, of, of no use to you. You don't use it, and I can't imagine that. So I'm going to email this to the designer, UBG2FX, and see if he can fix this with a firmware update, if he's willing to or whatever. But frankly, this radio should never have made it uh, to the general public for sale with, uh, with this very significant, in my opinion, flaw. Anyway, 73, thanks for watching. I will let you know via my blog uh, of whatever updates I receive from you as far as if he's going to address this problem. And if he does and uploads new firmware, I'll load it right away and test it out and get back to you on, on any of that. 73, thanks again.